Good morning and welcome to the World Summit of World Global Congress 2022. Good morning from Austria and Africa. Good evening uh, from Australia. Uh, good day in China and in India. And uh, good night uh, in the Americas. We are having a real unique opportunity which really matter to the lives of people. We are coming here, we are talking to you from Europe, from Austria. We are supported and uh, very much dedicated to a global development by the European Union. This one, this year is the first year that ICNM, which is the organization carrying the WSA, is supported by a European program which is quite unique. It addresses citizens in their empowerment. It looks at the equality which we have in our societies. It looks at the rights of people for diversity and for their human existence, and it looks at the values of democracy and the rule of law. Many of the politicians which started this program and all the administrators and uh, NGOs and uh, civil society which were involved in this, setting up a 2.5 billion euro program over the next seven years, did not envision how actual and how pertinent this program will be in a situation where we face for the first time in 80 years in Europe an aggressive war. So I want to start this conversation with you, with giving our support, our caring for the people in Ukraine who suffer from the aggressive war waged on them. Nonetheless, we are looking at a global development and a global development which is something which the WSA has for the last 19 years promoted. WSA started off in 2003 as a United Nations membership initiative. An initiative at the time when we looked at the world in a very different way than we look today. We looked at the world in many ways with an enormous optimism. It is that the design of the World Summit on Information Society was at the beginning of the Internet Revolution. And we looked at how this new medium of the World Wide Web and all those applications which will go over it and run over the Internet how this will transform the computerized society in a society of mindful people who are based on knowledge. And that's the reason why the United Nations General Assembly in the year 2000 decided on developing something called the World Summit on Information Society process. And there were preparatory committees for two years and then a global congress in 2003 and then another one in 2005, 2003 in Geneva and 2005 in Tunis. And this action plan, which came out of Tunis, is still one of the founding documents of the World Summit Award. The World Summit Award at that time already looked at accessibility of digital technologies not just in terms of telecommunications, how far do you have to walk to get to a telephone booth, but also at the question of content. And the content because this is where the promise of the information society lies. That with good content, with personalized content, with smart content, interactive content, that we can increase our knowledge and our understanding of the world understanding of who we are and what we need to do, where we came from and where we will develop to. 
And that is what the World Summit Award is all about. It looks at digital content-driven applications in the context which has arisen more and more powerful and more and more urgent for us in terms of the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. What do these goals tell us? These goals tell us that there are 17 different kind of areas where we can measure the progress of our societies, be it in Africa, be it in Scandinavia, be it in Latin America or being in Southeast Asia. How this progress can actually be measured and how these goals, which are set by governments and by a global covenant, how these goals are being reached or not. We know today that these uh, changes uh, which we have are much more profound and much more gra grave in many ways than we thought 20 years ago. The climate crisis gives us a very clear horizon and a new urgency to act. A new urgency which we need to work on globally. And the United Nations is the kind of framework within which we work. And the United Nations can be the framework which in which we can work. And there are many different kind of organizations of the United Nations with which WSA works. It works with ITU, with UNESCO, it works with the Economic and Social Commission of the Secretary General, it works with the Youth Award and the Youth Ambassadors, but also we work with UNIDA. UNIDA is the Industrial Development Organization. And we are very happy to work with them globally again in terms of strengthening, especially small and medium sized enterprises on the innovation trajectory. Let's hear what UNIDO representative has to say. And uh, let's have a video from UNIDO regarding their impact and their vision for collaboration with WSA. Let's roll this video, please. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure today to address on behalf of Director General Gerd Müller, the World Summit Award Global Congress 2022. UNIDO and WSA have collaborated closely for many years and pleased to continue to be part of this collaboration. The fact that the 2022 Global Congress is taking place in a virtual format is symbolic for the digital transformation. The way we live and work is fundamentally changing. The digitalization of learning, socializing, shopping, communicating has accelerated due to the pandemic. No sector is being left untouched by this rapid transformation. My particular concern are many countries in the world that lack the necessary infrastructure. Countries that struggle to prepare and train their workforce for the digital world and age. We must look for practical solutions, solutions that can be replicated and mainstream and ensure that no one is left behind. I congratulate the WSA for its promotion of digital innovation and youth entrepreneurship. It is so important to support and connect young technopreneurs and share the innovative solutions from around the world. Under the leadership of Mr. Müller, UNIDO will grow to be an even stronger international platform for knowledge and technology transfer and for the facilitation of investments and global partnerships. UNIDO will amplify its support to ensure that youth and disadvantaged persons are included in the development process. We must listen to engage with young people and make sure that the ideas of young people are being realized. We cannot build a future that ignores the visions of the young generation. The knowledge and the technologies to solve the major challenges of the world are here. We can solve hunger, poverty or climate change. We need political will and we need more partnerships and knowledge exchange. UNIDO will continue working with the WSA to bring fresh ideas and innovative solutions to the forefront of the sustainable development agenda. I call on every social and tech entrepreneur here with us today to work with us to drive the achievement of the 2030 agenda and 
the Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you. This was Bernardo Sarmiento. He is the Managing Director for Digitalization at UNIDO. And what he was showing, and uh, that is something very, very important, is how the issues of the global innovation and the global crisis need to be basically merged into global action. And the World Summit Award translates this into eight categories. As you can see from the slide here, we have the action lines from the Tunis uh, action uh, put into a number of different kind of categories and relate them also to the sustainable development goals. And many of you have already participated in government citizen engagement, health and well-being and so on. But one of the things which is very important also for WSA is that we are moving beyond that. We are moving beyond in terms of inclusion and empowerment. And that is something which is very, very critical for WSA. Why? Because the mission is not just to show what is best in terms of technology. The mission is not just to show what is most aesthetically pleasing. The mission is not to show what is most let's say, effective in terms of user experience and being sticky in terms of an application. But the mission is very much directed towards how to create an impact which bridge the different divides, which are not just there, but some of them are really widening. The digital divides are a key issue for WSA in terms of overcoming them, bridging them, and narrowing them. I talked to you about the importance of content-driven applications, and therefore it is something where is an analysis which is a little bit more profound and more complex. And it is that if we are not in a learning society, we will be very much prone to be dependent on ignorance in terms of how media work, how social media structure our imagination and how we are closing actually the kind of line of sight and the horizons of our perspectives rather than widening them with the technology. Many of you know the problems of living in a bubble and we are now today very much seeing also not just the positive effects of the internet, but also the negative effects when it comes to social media campaigning, disinformation and fake news. And so what we are looking at in WSA is something very, very different. We are not directly attacking this, but we are showing the different kind of realities which are created by people who use the technology for a good purpose, for a social impact and for narrowing the digital divides. This is the reason why WSA is working globally also with the German department, the Ministry for Economic Development. And Svenja Schulze is the new minister just uh, coming in uh, last um, three months ago. And we have a video from her, from the minister, to explain a little bit how what WSA does is seen in the context of the largest economy in Europe and one of the most committed one towards global development in terms of direct collaborative interventions. Please, let's have the video from Svenja Schulze. Professor Bruck, distinguished participants, hack the gap. That is the theme of this year's Global Congress of the World Summit Award. And I can tell you that the German Development Ministry also wants to make its contribution to close the digital gap and build new bridges. Half of the world's people have no access to the internet. And this means that many people not, are not only excluded from the opportunities and the possibilities of the digital transformation, this inequality also hampers political, 
economic and social participation. Women and girls are especially disadvantaged in terms of access to and use of digital technologies. And in the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, these inequalities have increased even more, and this must end. Together with the World Summit Award, all of us are collectively striving for an equitable and fair digitalization worldwide. The World Summit Award has been a reliable and valuable partner since 2018 for my ministry's Make IT Alliance. Together, we have already achieved a great deal. We have made good progress on identifying and using digital solutions to fight climate change, from Indonesia to Rwanda and all the way to Mexico. We are working closely with the World Summit Award in 16 centers for digital transformation to jointly promote local digital innovations. We are looking forward to expanding our cooperation, for instance, by opening more BMSAT centers for digital transformation in the near future. This year's World Summit Award winning projects are all about innovative solutions that open up new opportunities to overcome gaps and build bridges. Let us use this year's Global Congress to share and discuss successful ideas and to learn from another. What Sven Schulze explains to us, to you and to myself, is how a government is actually knowing that technology will not be the solution by itself, but rather how the use of the technology and who is using the technology and how it is being used is critical towards the solutions and the solution potential of that technology. And that's the reason why WC is focusing so much on this perspective of purpose-driven use of technology. It means that it's not just the intention which matters, but also the intention how it is being intersubjectively, democratically, and also communally discussed, decided, and also then implemented. And that is something which is very much important to WSA. It's not just that market power is important, but that community decisions should be relevant. And that is the reason for the way we are looking at local content. We are looking at local content in terms of the impact content-driven solutions can have. Content means always context. A content-driven solution is never good enough by itself, but it always has a meaning, its sense, its purpose in the local context. And the local context, uh, context is something which is really the key. So when we talk about local solutions and uh, solving digital divides, that is something which is really important. Can we see my next slide, please? So, when we move to with WSA, we move towards seeing what is the local context, but we see it on the global level. And let me just give you a couple of statistics in terms of where we are at and how this Global Congress will draw in the ingenuity and creativity of people from all around the world. You know that WSA is operating in 180 countries or more. We had participations of nearly 100 this year, and over 300 nominees were promoted and suggested by regional, national, eminent experts. Some of them had open contests, others had jury panels, others had expert opinions. And that is something very important that WSA is very much a waterfall system of selections. So what you will see, whom you will meet, from whom you can learn over the next three days, these are 
a select group of people who have shown in the last year to a jury of almost 100 people who have been involved on this online in a pre-selection process and then in a final selection process and then a grand jury process. So a very much a three-stage process of evaluation who have shown in that process that they are among the best. Best in terms of exemplary, in terms of local impact. Exemplary and outstanding in terms of the adaptive use of technology. And very much exemplary in terms of creating an impact towards transformation into a knowledge society and reaching the SDGs. What we are looking at is a balance from all around the world. And you will see that we have three winners from Canada this year and uh, three winners from Portugal. But we have also winners from Brazil, Iceland, India, Lithuania, Ghana, Cambodia, Egypt, and so on, and Sri Lanka, as well as Qatar, Mozambique, Malawi, Iraq, and Lebanon. So it is really a unique opportunity for you, for every one of us, to meet ingenious people, like-minded people, who are looking at how to hack the inequality gaps. How to hack the inequality gaps in terms of, especially those people who are not in a situation of having all their facilities and faculties available and to the utmost, but who are still very much full members of our society. And how to look at the people with disabilities, not with a way of looking at they are, need something special, but how we can be special to them in terms of inequality and bridging this inequality to make them full members and to recognize that they are full members of our society. We know also that we cannot prevent uh, a Russian aggressive war in the Ukraine by ourselves. But what we can do is, is we can look at the resilience of our communities, the resilience of our societies, of our national societies in terms of participation, in terms of democratic participation, in terms of open participation. And it's something very, very important that we know what are the risks of this participation and also the opportunities of this participation. And we need structure, we need rules, and we need democratic procedures and processes for this. Not the least, but the most important, however, is that we need to look at the digital divides and also the very much the divides in terms of life chances through the climate crisis. The climate crisis is the challenge of this generations, of all the generations at life today. I don't need to explain to you and to everybody else what the challenges are, but what we will show within the Global Congress over the next two and a half days is how people address this in a very smart and also ingenious fashion. And that will give us also an opportunity to look at the health and welfare issues, the well-being issues, which need to be addressed by digital technologies. Our Global Congress this year, again, is virtual, it's online. This gives us new opportunities, but it is not just that there's a COVID, let's say, connectivity boost, but we need to also focus on how to use this best in terms of the exchange. And one of the things which we really want to do is, is look at the health gaps which I've been developing. We will not reach the goals of the VISIS process unless we are also addressing the educational issues. Learning is always individual as well as collective in a local context. It needs a village to raise a child. It needs the good technologies to make a child, give a child the conditions 
for developing him or herself in a good way and to mature into a responsible adult. And that is something which the World Summit Award Global Congress looks at. Finally, I want to invite you to actively participate in this Global Congress. The Global Congress is a learning journey. It's a journey of interaction and also of taking the courage to ask questions, to intervene and also to connect and also to find new friends and new collaborators. In this sense, I wish you a very interesting three days. I will be part of the process many, many times over. I will see you at tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for a wrap up and a start up in the, into the day. I will do so same, the same thing on Thursday morning. And then on Thursday evening, we will have the winner's ceremony online and uh, try to have a festive gala uh, virtually. Thank you very much for joining this morning in Europe and in Africa. Thank you very much for joining this evening in Australia and midday in China and in India. And thank you for turning on your cameras and your uh, screens uh, in the middle of the night in the Americas. Thank you very much.